Buffalo man's truck was spray painted with racist graffiti. A local auto body shop stepped in. The collision shop actually removed the spray paint free of charge. And as Channel 2's Jeff Preval reports, the company has a message for the vandals. Jeff. Yeah, hi there, Adam. Now you can see that truck right behind me that was vandalized. We have blurred the racist graffiti, which includes the N-word. Now the repair shop that removed the paint collision masters says all their employees and the victim were shocked by what they saw. Profanity, including the N-word, spray painted in orange several times on this truck. The owner of the vehicle, a South Buffalo man, filed a police report late last week reporting the incident. Since then, Buffalo police have been investigating to find the person or people responsible. At Collision Masters on Pearl Street in Buffalo, the owner says the vandalized truck was brought to them yesterday by the owner of the vehicle. As soon as he pulled it in, literally the shop completely came to a halt. And I looked at it and I just shook my head, looked right at him and I says, you are not leaving until I get rid of that for you. He was both very upset, but yet embarrassed about coming in and about the situation he was in. Frank Todaro, the CEO of Collision Master, says eight of his employees went to work on the truck, removing the spray paint. What was it like working on that vehicle yesterday? Uh, my initial reaction was complete shock. And I was concerned about the image of Buffalo itself. Um, I don't think there's any place for that. After a half hour, the paint was off. For a job that would normally cost 700 bucks, Todaro says he let the job go for free. He was very thankful for it. Todaro went to Facebook saying Buffalo won't stand for racism. We're all brothers and sisters. We all need to get along. So we are the city of good neighbors. And Buffalo police continue to investigate the incident. They urge anyone with information to call the Buffalo Police A District Headquarters at 851-4415. Reporting live in the studio tonight, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News. Thank you.